More homes in West Tulsa have the protection of a smoke detector. Now, that's one result of a fire that left five people injured this past Monday. News on 6 reporter Emily Bryant has the new details of fire. Well, Scott, while the fire department can't say for sure yet exactly what caused the fire, they are sure of one thing, that a smoke alarm would have certainly helped the victims escape. As it was, they all had to be pulled out of this fire by firefighters. All of the victims nearly died. All right, let's let's go. Go. I think we're ready. Let's, let's roll. Go. Do we have Two a teams from the American Red Cross started walking the neighborhood Friday, looking for homes without smoke detectors and offering to install them for free. Lori Summers says house fires are the most common disaster the Red Cross handles in Tulsa. The number one disaster in the United States for most folks is a home fire. And that is a disaster if you've ever experienced it. It's, it's incredibly, um, it's earth shattering. It's, you know, it, it just takes your whole Take your whole base away. The Red Cross and Target are coordinating to supply free smoke detectors to anyone who needs them. Volunteers from Target go out and install them. Ryan Harris says he and his roommate have been living in this house for almost two years without the protection of a smoke detector. Now he has three. It's a really great thing, honestly, because like I said, we never thought about having smoke detectors. So if there would have been a fire, I don't know what we would have done. In addition to the most common and inexpensive kind of detector, the volunteers had new 10-year no-maintenance detectors for people who might have trouble changing the battery. The volunteers canvassed three full blocks, hit more than 100 homes, and installed 16 detectors in homes that didn't have them. They also checked and found one that wasn't working. The fire department still hasn't determined the cause of the fire at this house, but they did find a smoke detector they believe was not working. The victims from the fire are 11-month-old Chloe, 3-year-old Aiden, 7-year-old Ryden, 24-year-old Stephanie Spence, and 22-year-old Darren Lane. Ryden and Stephanie were the two most severely injured. Neighbors of the family are gathering up donations to help them replace what they lost, which was practically everything except their lives. The Red Cross hopes the outreach in the neighborhood prevents another loss like this. Having a plan to get out is also part of it. You know, you, you hear the smoke, smoke alarm and then what do you do next? So that's part of our focus is making sure folks are aware that um, you have to have a smoke, working smoke detector, at least one, you know, up to two or three in each home. Stephanie Ann Ryden are uh, recovering. She's in Tulsa. He's in Galveston at a burn hospital. All of the victims, of course, unconscious out here. Stephanie had to get CPR out here on the lawn in front of her house. Uh, she is now alert and talking, we're told, by family members. In West Tulsa, Emory Bryan, News on 6.